Wokes to Quinn. Oh, bowls him. Uh, takes a stump out of the ground and Matt Quinn's watch as night watchman is over. Rush was runs in bowls and Bell Drummond is caught low down at first slip. My goodness, that was a sharp take. It uh, turned Bell Drummond round. He was looking to play it slightly to uh, the uh, onside and it went very low indeed. Here's Wokes to Denley. Fends at that and has gone. Fourth slip, Will Rhodes, the captain takes him. And just really no foot mov movement there at all from uh, Joe Denley. And bowls to Leaney, who he's taken at first slip and another good catch by Yates. That also went pretty low, this time away to his left. And Hassan Ali gets leaning for one, 51 for five. Four slips wait, Hassan Ali bowls and Cox cuts. I think that's gone over the slips for four. Barnard goes round the wicket to the left-handed Compton, who's glancing for four. Yeah, he's pretty handy, isn't he? That's uh, Wokes bowls to uh, Cox. That's a lovely-looking shot that's driven through the offside, and that'll be four runs. Certainly no panic for Warwickshire's yet. That's off his pads, and that is dispatched as well to the boundary. Four to square for four more. Wokes bowls to uh, Jordan Cox. Now edges, and he's gone. And just as I say that, an important wicket. Catch a second slip for... Sam Hain runs into bowl to oh and uh, he's bowled here uh, Billings trying to leave and he's uh, whether he's got it onto the stumps off the glove but it's ended up knocking the middle stump out 99 for seven to quickly see their way through Kent now Compton pulls the next delivery it's a little short from Wokes and uh, He's hit it for four, and he runs past umpire Reelingworth, who's rather well wrapped up, and this is a oh. flowing cover drive from Compton, and he's going to get four good runs here out uh, through extra cover. It's a fine stroke and an excellent half-century for Compton. Sprinting in past the umpire, and a good stroke by Everson. It was slightly over pit. Here at Edgbaston to Everson. Straight drive, will he get four for that? He should do. Sprinting in, ball round the wicket to uh, Compton, who glances in the air past the wicketkeeper for four runs. Left-handed Ben Compton, who drives at this, a full delivery, and that will go for four. That's well struck. Rushworth's on his way, and a short delivery, and it's pulled by Compton for four runs. And watch Barnard with two to come in this over, and Everson cuts for four runs. Good stroke. Here's uh, Yates, given some room, is Compton outside the off stump, and he back foot drives it through the offside for four. Here comes Ed Barnard to start a new over and Everson drives down the ground and this could be 50. It's going all the way up to uh, the rope and was very well timed and it is a half century for Joey Everson. And he's played very nicely. And now Barnard bowls again and Everson carves this over the offside and that's quite a response. He's hit it over, Dave. He's had extra cover in his four runs. He stood up to a couple of the other seam bowlers. Oh, and that's edged and caught by Yates. And they've finally dislodged Compton in the first over after T. Try and uh, control. Oh, that's a good stroke and an excellent cover drive and it beats Wokes' his dive running across from mid-off. Everson on 77 faces. And that's cut through the offside. It's a lovely shot. Again, giving a bit of width, and that'll be four more. He comes in and bowls, and Everson drives oh. for four runs backward of point. Came off a thickish outside edge, but it's away to the unguarded boundary, and Everson goes to 99. That's Dorby. Oh, it's caught brilliantly. Well, that won't be an issue because he's thick edged it to Will Rhodes at four slip, and that is a fabulous catch by the Warwickshire captain. Have retreated fielders back. Hassan, he's not going to take. He's edged and he's caught by Burgess. Everson is out and Warwickshire have won it after a proper nerve shredder. And Hassan Ali's run all the way back to in front of the pavilion. He's tapping the badge on his shirt and he's screaming into the uh, air on his own. And his teammates are trying to catch up with him. And it's a heartbreaker for Joey Everson and Kent. But for Everson, last man out for 99 after batting for more than three hours and 40 minutes and taking Warwickshire to the very brink of their nerves and their patience and the playable light. But Warwickshire have in the end won this game by an innings and 14 runs.